Oh, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steeds, and today, chums, I'm going to be doing a bit of investigation. Yes! So a lot of people have said to me about the Ghost Frigate that I've done a video on just the other day. If you didn't see the video on the Ghost Frigate, I'll put it over there. Now, I figured I covered it pretty much everything with the Ghost Frigate, apart from boarding it or landing on it. Um, now, I couldn't find any landing pads on it, but somebody out there in the viewer verse said, what about trying to board it from the ship console inside the freighter? Didn't think of that, so we're going to give that a go today, people. Okay, so here I am over inside a game. Might as well get rid of that uh, view counter underneath my old name there, though. The we boom, there we go. Right, so this is the console in question. Let's hit that up then, and let's see if we can find the new frigate inside of here. So I think it should be on the last tab. There it is, Ship of the Damned. Now, normally you've got a button here to board the freighter. And all I have is dismiss. I don't have the button to board it. Just to sort of show you the uh, difference between the two, I go to one of my pirate vessels and look, you've got teleport aboard. So I don't think you can get aboard this vessel. Now, just to show that it has no landing pads, I guess I could take my um, ship out there and just show thee that it has no landing pads. But uh, yeah, it, it definitely doesn't. Anyway, um, I was going to take my new hauler you know, the one from the actual Adrift Expedition. Mainly because I've also heard that the patch is out and its engine has been updated. So let's just go and bring in my lovely Iron Vulture, or Razor Vulture, or whatever I've called it. Um, there it is. Boom. Okay, let's see if the engines have had their effects added now. Zoom. Let's fly on out. Now I'm probably going to have to change my ship view. Not a problem. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da. Kapow. Oh, they have! Look! We've now got the engine effects, people! Heck yes! That's freaking awesome! Brilliant! So the latest patch has fixed that. Right, let's see if we can find this ship of the damned. There it is over there. And I'll show you what I mean. It's a bit like the Normandy. So the Normandy hasn't got any landing pads either. And there's the Normandy up there. You can't teleport aboard the Normandy. And you can't teleport across to this one. And there doesn't seem to be any landing pads on this. I mean, look, I'm not seeing any landing rings. not seeing anything here. Got to be a bit careful of its hitbox as well. Its hitbox is slightly larger than what you expect it to be. So, yeah, there's, see, there's no landing pads on this vessel. And you can't teleport onto it, so... A lot of people were asking, well, did you try to land on it? I was like, oh, yes, yes, I did try to land on it, but there's no landing pads from what I could see. I'll go back across, but I'm not seeing anything. You know, you can't land on it, and you can't teleport aboard it. So it is just there as eye candy, people. At least that's how I see it, anyway. I mean, I fly back in, and I'll just show you the Normandy is pretty much the same deal. Okay, so here's the actual Normandy, and you can see here it's got a special support sort of role of recon. But you hit there, you can't teleport aboard that either. It, it, it's kind of got some, I don't know, some sort of AI sort of control to it. But yeah, you can't teleport across to that one. I'll just select another one at random. This is an organic one. I mean, there you go. You can, you can feed this vessel, but you can't board the organic ones either. You can feed them... You can't teleport across to them. There's no sort of uh, landing pads on those ones either. So they're not alone in all of this. I mean, here you go. You can teleport aboard this one if you really wanted to. Yeah. So, But sadly, no. You can't teleport the ghost freighter, or frigate, I should say. And although it says that they're absent and you know that pretty much all life signs are dead when you send these out on missions you do actually get to speak to the commander mine's called a bass or something like that but you don't see a picture of them you don't get to see what they look like which will be interesting i'm wondering whether they will add some sort of phantom crew to this you know inside of a drift when you interacted with that traveler's grave and an actual anomaly traveler turned up you know like we look like when we first start the game I kind of feel that we're going to see corrupted travellers come in, like proper ghost travellers. And I think this is the first hint of them appearing. Is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm not too sure. But you can see here, even every single little piece over on this side of the screen, like 
phantasmic cannons curse to roam, undying, powered by souls, mental, driven by the bells, driven by the bells. So that's another weird thing. It's the only time that we've really heard of sounds inside of No Man's Sky is the melody of the egg. Uh, whenever it comes to anything else, it's always to do about the cursed water. And I, so, I don't know. I don't know where they're going with this lore at the moment, people. There's, there's different ways they could go with it. There really is. And at the moment, I haven't really come to a conclusion on what's going to happen. I think once we get the part four of the ARG arc sorted out and out of the way, we'll be in a much better position to know. Anyway, people, out there in the universe, thank you very much for tuning in. I know we didn't really come to any sort of resting point on any of this. And this episode was just really just to showcase barely little well, well we got to see the new engines on the actual new ship of ours didn't we looks pretty darn freaking lovely i bet that looks great when you're calling it on the planet hold on i could just pop down to a planet at least we can try that at least there's something in this video for you isn't there all right oh well i'm at my little spider base yeah i've got two spiders here one you can go in and just one that's for set dressing but anyway let's um let's go and call in my shifty ship, shall we? So we, we'll just call it in just here. Let's have a look at how this looks, shall we? Chicka pow! Let's get a bit closer. Okay. That's looking pretty darn freaking lovely. Heck yes. Look at that. I really like that. I don't think I'm going to get tired of that. Let's, let's move it over here. Zoom. That's freaking epic. Heck yeah. Nice. I like it. That, that's that's actually really quite sweet, in fact, people. Right, let's let's take to the skies, isn't it? Let's have one more little blast. Oh, okay. No trust us. Go. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now I don't normally fly in this sort of view, but I might have to for a little while because that's actually pretty darn lovely, isn't it? Heck yes, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> very cool. Very 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 cool. Let's go and land back at my base. Yeah. Zoom. That's actually awesome, isn't it? Okay, I'm glad that they've added those ship effects in now, people. But it just gets me, it was in the trailer. Why would it have not been in the game from the word go, you know? It was obviously working in the Hello Games studio, wasn't it? No, oh, well, it is what it is, I suppose, isn't it, people? It is what it is. Can't do much about it. Hello there, spider mate. Spider mate, spider mate. Oh, where's all the legs gone for this one? Yeah, base rendering on uh, PlayStation is a little bit hit and miss. I mean, you saw it earlier. It was all rendered in. Now it's just decided, nope, don't want to render. It's uh, a little bit janky, to say the least, for me, people, on the old PlayStation 5. Even my own bases have problems with rendering. I mean, look at it. It's a mess. Ah, I'm in a freaking hole. How did that happen? I didn't dig that. Dang it. Okay, right, well, there you are, peeps. That's that's pretty much everything for you, then, isn't it, really? So there you go, people, this episode. No, you cannot teleport aboard the Ghost Frigate, but thank you very much for the question. Investigation done and concluded. No, you cannot teleport aboard, and no, you cannot land on landing pads that do not exist on the dang thing. But the latest patch seems to be on PlayStation D5, and yes, it's added in some lovely effects for the engines of the new ship, the iron whatever they called it the vulture iron vulture however you know base rendering on the old playstation is still not at a point that i would say is very reliable so yeah anyways that's that's pretty much all i've got for you people salute mondo until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again